during the summer you think I was reviewing notes? No. Hello. Right now is 11.38 p.m. I've never started a video this late before. This is a um, new way that I am starting a video. But I'm going to make public a video right now. This is my Rhode Island vlog. Oh my gosh. So I just have the video. Yay. We're done. We posted. My video is up. Go watch it if you haven't. I don't know how I'm going to title this video because I plan on doing a few things, I think. I will continue this tomorrow and I'll let you know what books I plan to read. Hi. Um, good morning. I literally just woke up. If I look all kinds of gross, please understand. This is probably not early for some people but it's pretty early for me i don't usually wake up this early unless i have school or i have things to do to go outside to accompany my parents my, my grandma yes i woke up early today why i need to catch up on schoolwork i'm behind on lecture videos for my classes i have a quiz tomorrow for this biology course, it's a lab. You're going to come along with me to do some schoolwork, but we're also not going to forget about books. I'm still going to be reading. So they're just going to come along with me for a few days. I'm gonna update you on some of the books I'm reading and also books that I want to reread. I'm going to put that all in this video. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but we're gonna do it. This is one of my favorite cereals. Top three. It is 9.06. I just remembered that I have a lab report due tomorrow. It escaped my mind. So I'm just gonna do this lab report. It's kind of easy because we're just doing calculations and I'm just answering a few questions for the conclusion. I'm gonna do that right now and then print that out so I can get that out of my way. I hate doing graphs though, but it's going to be easy. I just don't like graphs. <sighs> what day is it today? September. This instructor that I have for lab requires us to print hard copy stuff. So I'm going to put my printer to use this semester. Guess what? I just finished my lab report, so I'm going to print it. That took not that long. Well, it's 9.56 now. You know what scares me? I just turn on the printer. I unplug it when I don't use it because sometimes in the middle of the night, the printer will start cleaning even though it's not powered on. When it just comes on all of a sudden and I didn't touch it. No, no, no. You're not about to scare me. So now I'm turning it on. Um, I'm going to try this drink right here. This is Evolution Fresh Organic Tropical Passion. There's apple, orange, pineapple, carrot, mango, passion fruit, lime. I bought this from Whole Foods the other day. I tried the, um, the green one and it was okay, but I'm not going to get it again. This one I'm more excited for because there are flavors in here that speak to me. Carrot taste is pretty strong. It's not bad. The lime just hit. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get this brand anymore. I might just stick with Naked. I really should be studying. No. 
Uh, I'm just gonna tell you what I'm currently reading. I actually started a few books, but I stopped a few chapters in to start other books. I have a lot of books open. I don't want to drop it yet because there's a possibility I may just go back to it. The books that I am currently reading according to Goodreads are Billionaire Bosso by Laura Lee. I think I'm 40% in. Yeah, I'm 49% into that book but i paused that to read for heartbreak for heartbreak 2 heartbreak for two. Oh my gosh by cw farnsworth this one i am 10 percent in and then there's also if she says yes which is the one i was reading before i started another book this one is by tasha l harrison i picked this one up yesterday no, two days ago because I was feeling age gap and I rarely read um, age gap romances between a older female and a younger man that's why I started this one but just now I decided to pause that one too and read The Art of Falling For You by Maya Hughes how many pages am I in? I'm um, just three pages in this is a college romance I think it's a tr trilogy because I just started it. I don't know if I'm going to continue or if I'm going to go back to the other books. I have four books open. I am usually not this productive, but I really do need to do good on this quiz. Well, all my quizzes because quizzes are the easiest places where I can get points to help my grade which is why I'm going to actually try study right now. I have it open in front of me and so I'm just gonna study. Girl, I am so done. It's 6.17 right now. I took a shower at like three. Wow. Let me estimate I finished at four. I've been going at this studying for this quiz thing for two hours now and I am so done. I'm like I haven't even gone over all of the material yet. I have what three Like six pages left to look over to take notes on this is not even the most note-taking I've ever done This is just reading and like annotating just to remember stuff. I Have forgotten what that was like because during the summer you think I was reviewing notes no, just six more pages to go and we're done and I'm going to pick up a book and read. Good morning, it's the next day and I'm on my way to class. 8.24 and I'm probably going to be back home by like six. I'll see you then. I'm back from school so I'm just gonna go take a shower. I feel so dirty right now. It's disgusting because I'm just came back from outside. I feel refreshed now. Today I just had a full day of class. I'm going to just do some schoolwork and edit a video that I filmed yesterday. That video will probably be up before this one. It's going to be a book haul video and I know that that's a lot of your favorites so go check that out if you haven't. I'll have it like right there. I'm going to just start editing the video and then get some homework done because I am pretty behind. We will not speak of the quiz I was studying for yesterday. Hi, uh, let me just close the window before I talk. It's Friday. I went the entire day without filming anything. So I'm going to give you a rundown of exactly what happened today. I went to school early in the morning, got back at 5 ate dinner I also spent the entire day pretty much doing schoolwork and editing this video that I am exporting right now again if you are watching this video this video will already be up oh there we go so yeah another book haul for you wow look at me getting two videos done in one week if you haven't watched the Rhode Island vlog as well as the book haul, they're up on my channel. You can go and watch them and you can come back to this video afterwards or you can wait until this video finishes and then you can go and catch up on those videos after. It's Saturday. Right now is 
to today i posted the book haul yep that's pretty much all i got done i've been avoiding schoolwork. i really need to do it but i'm other than getting my video up and not doing schoolwork, i finished reading a book it's the art of falling for you which is the first book in the falling trilogies by maya hughes i love the way the first book ended i'm 94 pages in i'm not going to lie i've been i think i skipped a total of five pages so far the way the first book ended i kind of expected the second book to start out this way and for it to be pretty to go the way that it's going right now but i just don't really feel like continuing instead i want to reread some of the books that i have since the first time i read the deal by l kennedy i have been reading it every year this year i haven't reread the deal yet but it's going to be one of the books that i will reread because it's a tradition for me since the first time i read it i read it in 2020 and i'm going to go get it first let's see one two three yeah we're going to go down to this shelf and where is the deal it's behind all of that let me set you on the bed i got you this is my copy of the deal this book has already been read through you're seeing the post-its i lent this to vivian my best friend i'm going to try to give the sin of kissing you another go at reading a few more chapters but if i really can't get into it i will just go and start rereading this one today is sunday I did not end up rereading the physical books. Instead, I finished The Sin of Kissing You. I rated that three stars. I think part of a guilt when I rate low on certain books is because I do love the characters. It's just the story it makes it hard for me to rate a book higher than it should be. There are some times in the book where I'm just annoyed and frustrated. And, and then there are other times where I love the things that they do. It's like, ah, uh, I... I don't want to rate this book low but then the story doesn't captivate me and I find myself skipping pages then I'm like I know like this book is not four stars for me or like it's not five stars for me the moment I start skipping pages and I realize like I really don't care for what happens even though I like the characters and some of the moments it's a three stars I don't think I've rated a book two stars this year though I just started Beauty and the Baller by Ilsa Madden Mills uh, because it's been on my TBR for I don't know how long. I am not going to complete the final book of the Falling series. I just don't need to know how their story ends. Like I know how their story ends. I don't need to see what goes on in between the time that they're separated to when they get back together. Like I don't need to know. I've been through that for two books already. I don't need to go on the ride for the third one. That's why I am going to drop the trilogy. I mean I did finish two books. I'm just not going to read the third one and I'm going to read Beauty and the Baller. I am seven pages in and I'm liking it so far. It's Monday. I have no idea if I filmed yesterday. I wanted to come in here just to update you. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but I end up reading Beauty and the Baller, which is the first book in Strangers in Love. Well, I finished that today and I absolutely loved it. I rated that book five stars. Highly recommend it. It's a neighbor's romance, fake dating. There's also this grumpy and sunshine trope to it, even though he's not that grumpy. There's a good balance there with the female character character ronan and nova i love them now i am starting the book called stay by tia lewis um i'm on page 43 let me read you what the tropes are in the title a billionaire hate to love marriage of convenience romance it's 9 52 on tuesday when did i even start filming this video i don't even know what this video is going to be titled because i have no idea what i'm doing i'm just like filming whenever i want to i might just film for today and that's it or i may also film tomorrow i don't know today i have class so i'll be heading to school for the past few days i haven't done any studying at all i've just been um pushing aside my education 
my academics and just focus on reading. I'm the type of person who does things last minute. The idea of an exam or a quiz only hits me when it's a few days before. Sometimes certain exams have a greater hold over me, like the stress of it can be very overwhelming and I am overwhelmed for a week but I don't do anything about it until the day before or two days before. There's something wrong with this type of mentality which is bad. I really do need to like get my game going. I choose not to. That's probably not what you wanted to hear anyways this video. I'm sure you wanted to hear about my book updates. I am reading Stay by Tia Lewis so I'm still on that. On page 158, y'all. The thing about Kindle is that it's so convenient. Unlike a physical copy book, it's just so easy to binge a read, like to binge a book and go through it when I'm reading on Kindle. I mean, in this video alone, I already went through three books on Kindle. That is, and you wonder why I didn't get any schoolwork done. <laughs> Anywho, I'll vlog for today and I'll see how it goes. I don't plan on bringing my camera to class with me. I'm still very shy, so I am not going to bring my camera with me. My... Please, please stay up there. I'm going to get ready to go to class. It's I was going to leave at 12. It's not even 11 yet, but I'm just gonna get there early. Maybe sit in the library. I'm gonna go get dressed change out of my pjs okay i changed those are my pjs right there ignore it i'm going to go pack my bag and get ready to leave this is my bag wipes laptop and put on my case because i am not going to have my laptop there touching library desk my iPad, a book I might possibly read, my pencil case. Yeah, and we're gonna go. are gray coverage. I mean, I'm not covering grays. I'm so embarrassed. This one. It's also really pretty. Well, if you have your extra care card, place your I just got back home from school. I went to, as you know, CVS and I bought highlights. I just got this sudden urge in the middle of class to, well, highlight my hair, dye my hair, whatever. So I got this. As you can tell, I was debating between two of them. And I just went with this one because this is a lighter shade and there's a higher chance of my hair you can see the changes in my hair because <clears throat> my hair is pretty darkish in the sun this is what my hair looks like. you know what actually let me just show you what my hair looks like in the sun i have dark hair moments and then i also have lighter ones i never dyed my hair or highlighted my hair professionally i always just do it from a box there's a high chance it won't work the reason why i'm rushing right now is because that's how you make my life exciting this is what it looks like in the box there are three bottles and the instructions oh it's 25 minutes now i don't plan on going straight to my roots even though it tells you to do the roots so i'm just probably going to start like right here 25 minutes you know what let's just do it but the first thing i'm gonna do is change this shirt because i don't want to get this dirty okay i've changed um i'm wearing this shirt because it already has paint stains on it like this so I'm gonna wear this one and we're gonna go to the bathroom. Uh, I'm supposed to put. I don't plan on using all of it though. 
Hmm. Yeah, I'll just use all of it. I'm gonna open this. Ooh. Basically following the instructions on the box. If this actually works, this will be the lightest my hair will have ever been. So if you want me to close it, hold over the tip and shake. I said I'm not gonna touch the roots, but I might just touch the roots. Hello? <gasps> there is no method to it. I don't know if people section it or not. Probably do. But I'm not going to do that. The smell. It stinks. I don't think it's going to work. So I'm waiting for my 25 minutes now. <sighs> I'm looking for this one. And this one. Probably between these two. But for some reason I feel like it's not going to really... You're not going to be able to see all of this. You can see my scalp is changing, but not the hair. We have 19 more minutes. <sighs> Please. <laughs> I don't see anything. <clears throat> okay, Um, I think that was a fail. Well, you can barely tell the it looks very much the same I mean in the light a little bit I'm reaching here probably no change at all yeah well that was it um, I would have hope that this video ended in a success I will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching and to see me go through the week or a few days in my life yeah a few days in my life this is not actually a week yet See, there really wasn't a point to this video. I just wanted to put a few days together in my life and just to show you, you know, I guess what I do in a day, how I waste time in a day, how to be unproductive for a few days. That's the takeaway from this video. Before I end the video, I'm just gonna give you an update on the book that I was reading, which is Stay. I'm almost done with it. I mean, I kind of expected this to happen in the end i'm not going to spoil whatever happened if you want to read it you can read for yourself and find out what i'm talking about but i'm on page 261 and i'm just like i'm ready for this book to be over because why did she have to be so predictable i'm most likely going to rate this i'm most likely going to rate this book four stars like a high three stars but on goodreads it's going to be four stars and that is how i'm going to end today's video thank you so much for watching again and i'll see you in my next bye